What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, if you do not know, we're possibly going to have new content tomorrow. So I'm going to get you guys prepared. We're going to go over some MT methods and whatnot. And yeah, man, there's a lot to think about. Also, guys, if you were to please drop a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. We are on the road to 10K, and honestly, the way we've been moving, we should be at 10K very soon. So, yo, guys, thank you very much for the support. Like, literally, it's been amazing, and without you guys, I wouldn't keep posting. So, please, let's get this video to 110 likes, and I'll give away 20,000 MT to a random sub. So, make sure to like that video. If we continue the streak, like I said, I will do even more giveaways on the weekends. So, make sure to follow my Twitter because I do do the giveaways on Twitter. Um, also, let's see. So, these new packs, or should I say these packs here, are gone in 16 hours. Now, that's actually pretty good. That means tomorrow, well, if right now is 6 o'clock Eastern Time. 12 hours would be 6 in the morning. It looks like... About 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, these packs will expire. Now, it looks like we're going to get new packs. What packs exactly, I'm not totally sure. But whatever it is, it could be a possible market crash. And now, if you guys do know, I'm going to tell you one thing. I heard Kristaps Porzingis is going for the high right now. He's at around 200 k So, if you guys have Kristaps, let's see Wade's price. I have Wade as well. And um, YBC posted a video which kind of did drive the market up. It looks like Wade's going to be the cheap card in the Prime set. So that's interesting. But uh, YBC dropped a video saying how a lot of these cards are going to rise. So hopefully they do rise. Since he did drop that video, Kids probably did rush to the auction block trying to sell a ton of cards. So hopefully his video did help us out to rise up prices. And also I heard the market is rising. And I will tell you right now because if the market's rising... And we have some content tomorrow it's possibly gonna crash so i'm kind of preparing you guys for tomorrow which is pretty good and guys if you remember my snipe videos yesterday or my video yesterday i made around 40 kmt in that little quick like five minutes of sniping pretty solid um the rashad lewis i sniped out of luka Doncic. i actually made some decent mt off my own methods and as you can see, my um, MT is pretty decently high. I have a really, really good squad. Don't worry. We're going to have some gameplay on the weekends. I know you guys have been wanting some gameplays. And in the comments down below, let me know what kind of videos you do want to see. Because I really want to know. I know you guys are goaded and whatnot. So please, down below, let me know what you guys want to see. But yo, right now, um, market is actually kind of high. So if you really want, like Weber's up about 20, 30K. Hakeem's up a lot, Bosch is up a lot, market's actually kind of high, so if I were you, if you have cards that are pink diamonds that go for like 60, 70k, anything that goes for under the 100k bid, I would recommend selling, honestly, tomorrow something could happen, honestly, I think it's going to be a token market, if it's not a token market update and they drop packs with an opal, it's a guaranteed market crash, If even if they don't drop an opal, they drop packs in general, Prices are going to dip and you can make more MT by selling your cards using my methods in certain videos. But I'm still going to drop some methods in this video if you guys don't know. I pretty much drop most of my methods in like almost every video. So not only that, um, if there is new content, you guys need to get MT together. Like try to get at least 50k to 100k together. Like I said, it's always better to have more, more the merrier. But if you only have 10k, this is a perfect method. Like I said, bro, I pretty much state this method in every video. If you have like 10K, bro, just stick on this filter. You could possibly, if you sit in here for an hour, I bet you you'll get at least one diamond at Pink Diamond Snipe. And if you end up do getting a Pink Diamond Diamond Snipe, bro, I seen one of my subs on this method yesterday sniped out a Galaxy Oval Vince Carter for 550. I forgot who it was, but yo, if you're watching it, please let me know in the comments who you are. Because, bro... I was freaking out. I literally posted my video on this filter. Two minutes later, he sent me a tweet on the filter, 550 filter, and he got a Galaxy Oval Vince Carter for 550. 
I don't understand how because I sit on this filter all the time and I never get geos or pink diamonds, but shout out to him because he actually got one. So that is insane. Please try out this filter. It's 600 minimum buy, or I mean 600 maximum buyout and max bid, whatever you want, as long as it's over 600. But yeah, man, this is, this is crazy, man. 2K has been heating up over the last couple days. And honestly, I do expect a token market update. Haven't had one in about a month or two. So, and last year they did drop a token market update around the same exact time. What is today? 26th? Today is the 27th. They dropped one last year on the 27th. So, we definitely see a token market update coming. And pretty much how to prepare for this market crash possible or even token market update. Um, token market update, honestly, this is what it does. So, first off, to get tokens, a lot of people do do these sets. So, honestly, if you want, if they drop a really good token market update, Let's say you sell a car for 50k. If you want to pick up some of these silvers that are rare, like if you can snipe out this Batum, I would. Pretty much any cards that are rare in the set, you kind of won't hold on to. Because as you can see, their prices did rise. If a token market update does drop, their prices will rise even more. So I kind of do recommend you guys try sniping out these cards. Right now would actually not even be a, right now would actually be a pretty good time to sell these in general. Because I guess people did hear. That a market crash, or not a market crash, a token market update is possibly coming. And it looks like a lot of these cards rose up in price. Like, they were dirt, dirt cheap. And honestly, I'm going to have to catch out on some of these cards. Um, right when the token market update does drop, these cards are probably end up crashing down. So if you do have some of these cards, you're not really going for collector level, I would recommend selling. If you need some MT, at least. Only if you need some MT. I would definitely recommend, like, this guy's 3K. He's literally going for a 1,000. I got him for a 1,000 MT not too long ago. So as you can see, these cards are rising. To make a lot of MT, you could pretty much just sell these. Honestly, most of you guys should should have a couple of these cards in your collection. You could sell, like, three of them and make, like, 10K MT. So try it out. Start sniping some silvers. I would honestly definitely recommend sniping some silvers right now as well. Pretty much you can snipe anything. The market's kind of hot. Whatever filter you want. And also... If you also have under 10k MT, this filter right here is my favorite filter in the game in my opinion. I like it more than a 500 filter. It's more consistent at least on Xbox for me. Um, every time I go on the game, I pretty much just sit on this filter. And it's been really, really, really good for me. Please, try it out. It's literally Amethyst, buy out whatever, whatever you want, buy out. You just got to know your pricing. Try to stay away from Reggie Jackson, Bobby Jones. Like I said, Reggie Jackson you want to stay away from. Stay away from Big Country. Stay away from Joe Kim Noah. And yeah, this filter is pretty damn money. And Junior Bridgman. He's not really a good one you want to look at either. But yeah, other than that, bro, right now, we could see anything happen tomorrow. And honestly, if they do drop an Opal, you're going to lose a ton of MT. So I would definitely recommend selling some of your team, so selling some of your players. Like, I wouldn't suggest selling all your bidded players. Like, if you have KP... And you're not planning on doing Prime. You don't have the MT to do Prime. Honestly, I would recommend selling him now. Honestly, if you remember, Wilt Chamberlain was going for a ton of MT. And then they dropped those locker codes and everyone got screwed. So if you do have KP, if you do have D-Wade, and you don't trust the market like I do, I would recommend selling it. But me personally, I probably will understand my, my KP as well. Because I know when a market crash happens or an Opal comes out, whatever, this card's going to drop. And especially... When the fourth prime player does drop, or before the fourth player prime player does drop, which I think will be next week, they do drop, what's it called, um, super packs. So then KP will be in packs, the KD will be in packs again, the Wade will be in packs, and that fourth prime player, or the third, wait, no, no, the fourth prime player will be in packs. So they wouldn't drop it next week, they'll probably drop it two weeks after next week, which would be somewhere in March. And they're also going to drop March Madness, which also creates a huge market crash. So pretty much, I just prepared you goldenly. Pretty much, you just need to have some MT stocked up just in case anything does happen. Make sure to get your tokens up. If you need help doing tokens, you could get those sets. You could complete some sets. You could grind on Triple Threat online. And even if you didn't do Domination, which I can't stand, but I did do it in the beginning. Um, if you want to do some Domination and get tokens, like these last games give you a, a solid amount of tokens if you did not do that. But yeah, pretty much, I just prepared you perfectly for the new content. And if you guys think anything's dropping special or anything you want to see in my videos, pretty much anything, bro, let me know in the comments. I pretty much answer every single comment down below. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for the video. Let me know how it goes. If you snipe anything out, please make sure to hit up my Twitter. And yeah, guys, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.